hello and welcome to another video so this video was requested by one of my subscribers and it's about installing WayDroid on fedora now there are two methods to install WayDroid on any linux os method number one is installing using custom images that are downloaded from sourceforge.net method number two is installing directly from the internet using the gui WayDroid app so to begin with, just open your terminal and you run the command sudo dnf install waitroid enter your password and allow it to install. So once the application is installed, we need to decide the method to use. And in this case, we are going to first go with the manu installation so on your browser go to sourceforge search for waydroid remember this is sourceforge.net project waydroid so go to files images inside here we need to download one file for vendor and another one for system let's begin with the vendor there are several folders listed here we have waydroid for arm 64 waydroid for arm waydroid for x 8664 wait rate for arm 64 only and wait rate for x86 so depending on your system pick whichever folder is appropriate for you my pc is x8664 so i pick this one and then in this case let's say we choose to go with the, the first one we select this one your download will start shortly so allow it to start and i'm going to pause mine next we need to look for the system image and here we go to this folder system and lineage and then again you check your system whether it's weight with arm weight with x86 so i go with this one like previously did and then here's a list of the system zips so remember the one what we previously downloaded is lineage 20 so we look for one that says lineage 20 here we have two options there's vanilla the one without google apps then there's a second one which is g apps we can go with this one allow it to start and then i'm going to pause it in your case just download the all the files to the end once the files are downloaded go over to your downloads folder in my case i've already cancelled the two that were supposed to download because i already have other files that i had previously unloaded for lineage 18.1 so we are going to use this lineage 18.1 for demonstration purposes so with these two we need to extract them i'm going to create a folder here call it images select this one extract two images Next, the mainline vendor zip. So I'm going to right click and extract two images and select extract. So inside here we have the two files. They are all inside other directories. Let's remove this one and bring it inside the images directory. This one as well. So and then delete these two. These are the two files that we need to proceed with our installation of Android. For this manual installation, we need to copy these two files to the directory etc slash wadroid extra slash images. Let's create the directory. All oh, this is small caps. We now need to move our images to that directory. Go inside this images directory and open terminal here type sudo mv system.img and then vendor.img and then the directory we want to move is etc slash wadroid extra slash images and enter input password and allow it to move the files we can now initiate wadroid and the reason we initiate from the terminal is because we want wadroid to fetch those two images and use them to initialize the wadroid in this system so type the command sudo wadroid init hyphen f and enter and just like that wadroid is initialized and then if i launch the app from here and here it is wadroid installed on your fedora If you experience sudden freezes of your PC, you need to configure the WordRed uh, prop file. Just open your terminal and type the following command. 
and here we need to change this line over here which says ro.adware.gralloc equals gpm so change this to default and then the second line which says ro.adware.egl equals mesa change to swift shader control o to save and control x and then now we can stop with read and start it again method number two is installing from directly from the internet using the gui app sudo dnf install wedroid start the wedroid container the command is as shown here system ctl enable now wedroid container so type the command as shown system ctl enable wedroid container after that go over to the app drawer and launch the wedroid app now here it's asking for us to set the system OTA, the vendor OTA, and the Android type. System OTA is right here. Paste it here. Now let's go to the vendor, and vendor is written here. Just copy this and paste on this app. And then for the Android type, you can choose between vanilla or the G apps. We want the Android with the Google apps, so let's pick the G apps and then click download. And it looks like this one has decided to download Lineage 18.1 instead of Lineage 20. One eternity later. So the first image has finished downloading. It's now extracting and then beginning to download the, uh, the vendor image. This one looks pretty fast. And now the vendor image is uh, finished downloading, now extracting, and it's done. So now we can press done and Wedrid is ready to run. Okay, so Wedrid is now installed. If you had installed vanilla version of Wedrid and later decide to change to the G apps, you can do so by running this command. But before that, you must remove the installed vanilla Wedrid setup by running these two commands to remove the var lib Wedrid and the local share Wedrid. Then you can run this command to download and install the new GApps Android system. This command will search and download the GApps system image. On the other hand, if you prefer the manual installation method, you can go over to sourceforge.net and download the new GApps system image, extract it and replace the previously installed vanilla image on the directory etc slash extra slash images, then reinitialize Wedroid as we did earlier with this command. And finally, to register your Android with Google Play certification, just open your terminal while Wedroid is still running and type these commands. First, run sudo Wedroid shell, then paste this long command on your terminal and copy the Android ID that will be displayed. Go over to the website google.com slash android slash uncertified, log in with your Google account, paste the Android ID and click register. And now you can sign in to Google Play Store on your Android and use the Play Store however you like. That's it for this video. Hope it helped you with your installation. If you want to remove Wedroid from your system, check out this video over here. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.